Hey there, my name is Nicholas Vadibelu, and I'll be applying to the McMaster Summer Internship Program. My experiments strive to show the relationship between the concentration of a solution and its refractive index. I chose to do this by dissolving sugar into salt and water. Before we get into it, however, I'm going to have to explain a couple of relationships and equations first. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes through the boundary between two different media. This is caused by a change in the speed of light. A slowdown will cause a refraction towards the normal, whereas a speed up will cause a refraction away from the normal. This can be modeled using the equation on screen, also known as Snell's Law. The diagram and equation on screen now illustrate the relationship between the angle of minimum deviation, apex angle, and the refraction indices of both media. This equation was used to calculate the uncertainty using sample standard deviation and the 10 repeated measurements. This equation is used to calculate the uncertainty of a value after an operation has been performed. I know I went over those equations a bit quickly, but that's not the focus of this video. Now we'll briefly go over the procedure I used to perform this experiment. I built this apparatus to ensure all my components maintained a constant relative position to ensure the consistency of the measurements. First, I checked that the laser passed through the empty prism and hit zero on the ruler. Next, I filled the square-based prism with 100 milliliters of water at 20 degrees Celsius. Then, I shone the laser beam through and recorded where on the ruler the light hit. This measurement would be recorded for each gram of the solute, and each measurement was repeated 10 times for both solutes. A reading error of 0.05 centimeters was used for the ruler, and 0.01 grams was used for the gram scale. The results are summarized in the following graph. This compares the refractive index of salt and sugar at various concentrations in water. As you can see, there is a weak and direct correlation, with the salt having a slightly stronger correlation. This can be modeled by the equation shown on screen. The coefficient represents the increase in refractive index per gram per liter, while the y-intercept represents the refractive index of water without any solute. The following graphs show the two with uncertainty analysis, computed using the two equations mentioned previously. There's not much noise for the weight measurements of the solute, due to the lack of operations on the measured value and the precision of the digital scale. There appears to be excessive amounts of noise in the refractive index, however, the signal to noise ratio is well above 200 for all the data points. The weak correlation makes the noise appear more dramatic than it is in reality. This experiment not only illustrates my ability to conduct a scientific study and arrive at conclusive results, but also my exquisite attention to detail and my dedication to the scientific process. This level of professionality and experience make me the ideal candidate for the McMaster Summer Internship. Thank you for watching.